Hi, I'm Maimon, and welcome back to one of my videos on the Shark Lift Away Upright Vacuum. Now, our previous video was on the unboxing and assembly of this video, so if you haven't watched that video, go check it out. But for now, we're going to be doing basically a review of this vacuum, how it works, what it looks like when it works, and then afterwards, we're going to talk about its features. Let's get right to it. All right, so first off, uh, by the way, we have our old vacuum, this Eureka, uh, in the background here, just for testing it side by side to see the how, how loud it is. But we'll get to that later, just uh, keeping you in suspense for that. For, but first off, let's take a look at the vacuum. So the main feature of this vacuum is that it's a lift-away vacuum. And if you, if you don't know what a lift-away vacuum is, it's basically... It's not a, a, a um, one unit. For example, this Eureka right here is only one unit. You can only roll it. You can only keep it like that. However, with a lift away vacuum, what you're able to do is you're actually able to keep this part on the, on the floor. And if you come here, you can see that there's a button on the top here that says lift away where you can lift the entire unit off of the ground. And you can actually just hold this while you, if you press one release, use this to vacuum pretty much any surface. It also comes with certain extensions. For example, a 12 inch crevice extension. I'm not gonna put these on a, a a um what's this called a power no a pet power extension which i'm not quite sure what that is yet but i'm guessing that it's mostly used for pet hair and finally there is an upholstery extension that's cool and all right but there are more features to this vacuum so if we take a look on the other side of the top we can see that aside from the power button there's also a setting for toggling between a hard floor and a carpet floor. So basically, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys understand this. Vacuums don't work as well on uh, hardwood floors if they are supposed to work on carpets. And if, they're, and if they're supposed to work on hardwood floors, they don't work well on carpets. But anyways, you can use this to toggle between those two. Also, if you look on the wand right here, you can see that it says... Hold on. I'm going to take this off so you can see it upside down. If you take a look on the wand here, you can, say it, you can see that it says suction control. So this suction control, you can toggle it between max and minimum. This minimum setting is to make it easier to handle on carpets, because if it's at max setting and it's on carpets, it's going to stick to the carpet. But if it's at max setting while it's on a bare floor, it's better for sucking. So also, another cool thing is I'm pretty sure that you're able to take off the extension. Let me see. Yeah, so there we go. So, let me see. Oh yeah, you can just use it like this if you want to. Or if you don't want to break your back while you're trying to get at the very low crevices, which I'm pretty sure my mom would enjoy. Then you can always use the extension. All right, so now for the side-by-side -side comparison. According to uh, Amazon, this item weighs around 18.5 pounds. This, according to Kohl's, weighs 17.7 pounds. We weighed them, and apparently this is half a pound uh, heavier than this. So, you know, there might be some uh, measuring inconsistencies. But even more importantly, let's get to the sound quality. So if you're a headphone user, um, just watch out. Okay, so first off, let's, let's do this one first, so you guys can get a sense of it. Now a thing about this is that the air comes out the front and my dad was noticing, um, isn't it kind of a bad design to have the air coming out the front because isn't it going to just blow the dust away? Um, my rationale for that is the air is going upward so hopefully it doesn't blow the dust away but um, just in case that might be a problem, just noting that for anyone who's interested. Now, let's listen to this. Keep 
in mind that this sound might be due to some things that are inside the vacuum. I'm not sure if it's going to have much of a, an effect, but at least that's what we have right now. So let's see both of them running at the same time. You might see the lights dim for a second there, but that's because they're drawing a lot of power. <laughs> So uh, as you can tell, when it's shutting down, this one has a very long cooldown. This one shuts down almost immediately. Uh, I'm not sure if that's due to age, but this one definitely has a very short cooldown. Now then, let's try this with, without the uh, floor nozzle. So we're going to lift this away. So cool. And then, I'm not sure if this can just go like this, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold it because that's how most of them do it. And I'm going to take the handle off. In order to do that, we're going to press wand release. I'm going to release this. And then we're going to turn this on. Now then, here's my first problem here. Okay, okay, no. Now I get the uh, air coming in the backwards. Maybe the air comes through the front because when you're holding this in your left hand, the power button's on the left here and the air goes back. Maybe that's the intuitive design here. But anyway, let's get to the sound quality. Alright, so let's try uh, doing the chip test. Um, it's w some, some might say it's wasteful to um, waste food, but uh, this is one chip and it's, it's kind of stale. So um, it's going to going to break it up and we're going to we're going to do a dry run of this vacuum all right so oh no i'm already getting fingerprints on it okay let's do this i'm not there we go I just realized I didn't even have it set to carpet. Hold on. Let me let's try that chip test again, but let's do it with the carpet setting. All right, so we're going to waste another chip. It's all right. I'm sad to see that go. We're going to. Okay, so when it's not on, this light doesn't toggle. So that's that's kind of. It's all right. It's, it's just a minor inconvenience. And now for the suction, we got to make sure that it's because it's on a carpet, it's a minimum. All right. So, power. Now it's a carpet. Oh, wow. The suction is definitely very minimal. But it still works pretty well. Alright, so a few other things. We're going to test out the uh, floor nozzle, uh, but some other features. Uh, hold on, how's this go? Some other features. The length of the cord, uh, according to online sources, is, I'm pretty sure it's 30 feet. According to Coles, the cord length is 30 feet. Alright, so... Um, I mean, it kind of looks like 30 feet. So, I mean, you can plug this pretty far away and still use it. So I think that's good for my mom. And now, we're going to... It's really convenient, too, because most of these parts just snap in. It's like assembly is never even required at all. Oh, you can also see in the front here, it's transparent. Uh-oh, okay. And this one... Ah, you can't even see anything in it. It's covered by its, uh, better than Dyson sticker. Alright, okay. Compensating or something. Alright, so now, in order to use the floor function, I'm pretty sure there is a floor setting. Let me see something. Access brush roll. So this is, turns on the brush roll, which is basically on the bottom. The, oh, you can see it right here, this rolling brush. 
Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna have to utilize that, but uh, I think. I mean, if you want to be able to access the brush roll, that's useful. I'm gonna press close. Let's see. I'm pretty sure. Let me just make sure I got this right. To engage. Okay, I'm. All right. Okay. There's no procedure for switching, so I'm. I'm gonna assume that it actually just works by automatically. Okay, so let's take another chip. I'll be right back. This is a small one. Let me just push this back. Let me see. How do you make this pivot? How do because on this one, there's just a lever to make it easily pivot, like this. I'm trying to look right here for that. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything. Alright, so I found something out. Uh, this is... I'm not sure if it's an advantage or a disadvantage. It, it can be left up to you. But, in order to tilt this back, all you have to do is just step on the floor nozzle. And pull it back. I mean, it's probably better. Uh, it's probably easier than harder, so... We're going to take that. But for now, let's test this out. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. Is, wait, wait, we're going to test that out with the uh, brush roll. But I have to first say, this vacuum seems so effective, it was actually pulling on me. Like, it was trying to go forward by itself, so, as you can tell, this vacuum this vacuum is probably, uh, pretty good. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to test this, um, pet, uh, this pet power brush. And we have some cat hair on there, um, that was actually pretty, uh, un unintentional, but, you know, we're gonna do it anyway. What I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take this out going to take this out, going to lift this away, because this is how it's meant to be used. I'm going to try this. All right. Power. So, I made a mistake. This is the uh, upholstery tool. This is for um, the curtain. This is the uh, pet multi-tool. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we have to clean that up now. And the perfect tool for cleaning up is a vacuum. So, we're going to remember that I made this mistake. Uh, and we're going to learn from it. But now we're going to attach this power multi-tool. This one goes the other way. And I'm assuming that it works by itself, but we'll see. Does it? Okay, I'm gonna hope that it works by itself. So we're gonna try out this uh, pet multi-tool, and it works by suctioning uh, this, this brush right here that basically pulls in uh, pet fur. It's mostly meant to work on pet fur that's in large clumps, this is a bit small, but we're going to try it out anyway. So as you see, it's rotating this brush. So you might have noticed that on those smaller pieces of Bella's fur, that the vacuum actually didn't pick it up. And I'm assuming that's because this works for uh, bigger hair. So we're going to try it with the floor nozzle. And we'll see just how well that works. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Alright, 
so you can see there's still some fragments of those here. Um, still some, some small slivers. I gotta say, for um, $250, which normally retails at $400, it's kind of disappointing. Um, in terms of, uh, I mean, the other features are pretty cool. I'm just saying, the suction might need to be a bit more powerful. <laughs> Alright, so, um, you know, just for sake of comparison, just to show you how bad this uh, Eureka is, we're gonna try using, <laughs> using it to vacuum it. You ready? Okay. So, the first thing you'll notice um, is that the shark one left a noticeable imprint. That's pretty, it's a bit darker than the rest of the carpet, but the Eureka didn't really leave any. Okay, that was on floors. All right, anyway. That means that the Eureka isn't as powerful and what do you expect, even though apparently it's, it's better than Dyson. Which, if it's better than Dyson and the Shark is better than the Eureka, which is better than the Dyson, that means that the Shark is also better than Dyson. But anyway, let's just say that this is a small fish and this is a Shark. All right, so we went over the carpet a few times with the Eureka, I mean the Shark again, and it actually looks much more cleaner. I guess all we had to do was go over it back and forth a few times. And uh, according to my dad, maybe get some more friction on the carpet in order to suck it better. Uh, but as you can see, it looks pretty good. Not like steam clean good, but definitely like good enough for a guest to come to your house and say, oh, how nice. Um, well, I'm also going to disregard that I use the vacuum on the uh, bare floor setting instead of the low carpet setting. Um, I don't think it should matter. Although I am, I can't admit that I'm kind of inept at using vacuum. Um, but also, something I noticed about this vacuum is that this one can only swivel in one direction, right? Let's get to the cool part of this. This one can swivel up and down. So it can swivel up and down just like this one, but it can also swivel to the right and to the left. So if you have to, I'm trying to think of a situation where this would be useful. So maybe you need to get it under a really low table and you need to angle it just like this uh, because it's convenient. Or there's like a, a crevice that this... Basically, like there's like a tiny little space that you need to get this vacuum in and try to vacuum the edge of it, but you can't get the entire vacuum in. So it's pretty useful for different uses, uh, but that's pretty cool. Uh, another thing that we didn't mention is that you can also take this out and it looks pretty cool when you take it out. You gotta press down here and you also gotta pull these, uh, I have no idea what to call them, but you pull this up and you're easily able to take the dustbin out, then pour it in a trash can and then get rid of your dust. Now, obviously, uh, most of these features will be covered on uh, Shark's actual website. They have a ton of videos on different aspects of the vacuum, which we'll probably link in the description below for you to check out. But if you have any questions about this uh, vacuum, then always feel free to check out their website. All right, so all in all, this vacuum gets an approval for me. Um, I'm gonna wear it right now. And my mom hasn't seen the vacuum yet in its full glory, but I'm sure that when she does, she'll be very happy. Um, in terms of uh, from my point of view, you know, guys, we're pretty inept uh, when it comes to vacuums. If you give, if you just give us a vacuum, we'll figure it out somehow. But as long as it works, we're fine. But I, I mean, like, my mom, she always has to have all these features, like the lift away. And, uh, you know, the lift away is probably the most important thing because my mom, definitely, she needs something to make sure that her back doesn't get uh, all worked up and stuff. So it's going to be very good for her. But anyway, since we're not sponsored by a, a shark in this video, Although, I, I shouldn't fully, fully cancel that out. But anyway, um, since we're not sponsored by Shark in this video, we can still criticize their product. And we noticed that right here, they're, oh wait, not this right here, that the adhesive on this, um, this, what's it called? The upholstery um, tool is actually peeling off. So just uh, if any, any people who are working at Shark are uh, watching this video, um, just put some better adhesive on this, uh,
this tool right here because when my mom sees this she's gonna think that we broke it um and we have to glue this back before she sees it hi mom but anyway the weight of this vacuum according to this uh weight right here is 16 pounds and uh two three two ounces which is about a pound less than its advertised weight so it's actually pretty light actually hold on that in mind let's see how much the lift away thing uh weighs because when my mom uses it obviously it needs to be light okay oh, i know i have to zero it out okay wow so when it's just the uh, unit by itself it's 10 pounds and 10 ounces definitely something that my mom can hold all right so that's all for now um basically this was the shark rotator lift away um pro let me let me just read it the shark rotator lift away pro uh dual dual clean pro with self-cleaning brush roll upright uh vacuum once again the uh, model number is ZU782, and like I said before, this gets an approval from me. Uh, it's definitely, compared to this small fish of this Eureka, better than Dyson. Dyson might be a small fish, this thing might be a piranha, but this is a shark. So I'm Aiman, and thanks for watching. Please like or comment. <laughs> I can't believe I messed that up. Please like or comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on I and Aiman, especially if you haven't watched the uh, unboxing and assembly video. Uh, keep a lookout for that, and we might be doing a video on this in the future, like coming off, coming back to it like months later and seeing how it works. But uh, we'll see. So if we do a video on that, keep a lookout for that. But for now, that's it. This video has already gotten pretty long, drawn out, so we're going to uh, conclude it right here. I'm Aman and signing out. Peace.